Time delay relays play a crucial role in controlling the timing of various electrical processes. But like other electromechanical devices, time relays can become faulty as time goes on, and it is vital to check a time delay relay to ensure that it is functioning correctly and maintaining the desired time delay. In this video, we will see a couple of methods to test a time relay, and importantly, we will learn how to test this time-based electronic switch with a multimeter. When testing a time delay relay, make sure to disconnect the power source and unplug the device from the circuit. Let's first do a basic visual inspection of the relay. Visually inspect the relay for any visible signs of damage, such as burnt or pitted contacts, loose connections, damaged wires, or cracks in the casing. To effectively test a time delay relay, you'll need the following tools and equipment. Obviously, you'll need a multimeter for this procedure to test the voltage, resistance, and continuity of the relay coil and contacts. A benchtop power supply allows you to apply the rated voltage to the relay coil. Then, we will see how to test a time relay with a multimeter. Start by identifying the coil and contact terminals on the timer relay. The testing method we're going to cover applies to both analog and digital time delay relays. Then, use the multimeter to measure the resistance across the relay coil. Set the multimeter to the resistance mode by switching it to read ohms in minimum range. Place the multimeter probes on the coil terminals and record the resistance reading. Compare the measured value with the manufacturer's specifications to ensure it falls within the specified range. A functioning relay coil typically shows a resistance reading between 50 and 200 ohms on a multimeter. A significantly different reading may indicate a faulty coil, and you'll need a new relay. Now that we know that the coil is good, we're going to test the relay contacts. Set the multimeter to the continuity mode and check the continuity between the contacts in different switch positions. First, we'll test the de-energized condition of the relay contacts. With the relay de-energized, the COM terminal must be connected to normally closed terminal, and the normally open terminal should be open by default and have no continuity. So to test this, connect the two leads between the COM and NC terminals. If there's no breakage, the multimeter should start the buzzer. Check the continuity between the COM and NO pins. The multimeter should make no continuity beeps and read infinite resistance if the relay contacts are okay. Now it's time to check the energized condition of the relay contacts. We're going to be using a simple benchtop power supply to energize our relay. Verify that the relay audibly clicks, indicating coil activation. If not, it might mean that the relay has stopped working and isn't completing the circuit. As soon as we energize the relay, the COM terminal switches and makes contact with the normally open terminal. Take each probe of the multimeter and touch either COM and NO switch pins. If the buzzer is activated, then the relay is well and good. If you don't hear a beep, it means your switch pins are stuck open and the relay is faulty. Verifying your relay's switching function is in working order doesn't necessarily mean your relay performs well. You'll need to further confirm that your relay is delivering the right voltage on the switched side to eliminate the impact of corroded or bad contact points. Set your multimeter to measure the AC voltage and ensure you know the supply voltage. With the relay energized, measure the voltage on the switched pin. The multimeter should read identical or close to the supply voltage. If it doesn't, replace the relay. The accuracy of timer relays is critical to the efficiency of the production process. Follow these steps to verify the timing accuracy of your time relay. Connect the timer relay into an appropriate test circuit, which in our case consists of a power source, a push button, a stack light as the load, and necessary wiring. Make sure the connections are correct to prevent short circuits or other problems. Energize the relay and set a certain amount of time delay by switching the knob on the time relay. Upon setting, use a stopwatch or timer to monitor the timing of the switch contacts. Compare the measured delay with the specified delay time to see whether they are consistent. Repeat the test several times to ensure consistency and reliability of the results. This helps to rule out chance errors. If any of the above tests fails, then you might have a faulty relay and need to upgrade or replace it. Congratulations, you're done. By following these steps and safety precautions, you can effectively diagnose relay issues and ensure the reliable operation of electrical systems. Thank you for watching our guide on testing a time delay relay with a multimeter. If you find this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. We have new content coming out weekly, so press the bell icon to get notifications and never miss an update from ATO channel. At ATO, we are committed to providing high-quality, reliable electrical components, including a wide range of time delay relays. Our products are designed to meet the most demanding applications and provide precise timing and control. If you're looking to find a time delay relay, then check out some of the ones we have for sale at ATO. 
The product link has been posted in our description below. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. Thank you guys so much for being here. We can't wait to see you in our next video.